Coral reefs are a big attraction for scuba divers and snorkelers who come to admire their beauty. But these reefs have a more important role to play in the health of our oceans. And now many of them are in trouble around the world. In the Dominican Republic, some marine biologists have come up with a way to enlist local volunteers to monitor these fragile reefs. In the Dominican Republic, more than 1,000 miles of fine sand and clear blue waters attract tourists from around the world. Resorts along these coastal areas feature a full array of recreational activities, including diving. Here, recreational divers can explore coral reefs, the source of much of the island's beautiful beaches. But their beauty is more than skin deep. Coral reefs also form a physical barrier that protects shorelines from storms, and they provide a habitat for countless species. But the island's vital reefs, like others around the world, are in peril, threatened by overfishing, pollution, and climate change. That's where Reef Check International comes in. Since 1997, this conservation group has been training volunteers to survey the status of coral reefs. We're going to split up in three different teams. Two people are going to do fish, two invertebrates, and uh, two substrate. Since there aren't enough scientists for this monumental task, the group has used another source of manpower, recreational divers. In the Dominican Republic, marine biologist Ruben Torres has educated experienced divers and fishermen on how to collect much needed data. We just volunteered for the first reason that uh, Reef Check was created, and there were not too many scientists around the world to attack the global problem on coral reefs. So we basically started calling people that wanted to volunteer to collect data as a first measure to solve the, the reef crisis. Once certified, volunteer teams meet regularly to work in places like La Coleta National Marine Park. The team sets up the survey area with four transect lines that are 65 feet long by approximately 16 feet wide. Some divers are assigned to count fish, others invertebrates such as urchins, lobsters, and sea fans. And some are assigned to investigate substrate composition, which helps to determine the percentage of hard corals, which are the reef builders. The delicately balanced ecosystem relies on the interaction of these organisms. The data collected by Reef Check volunteers confirms the magnitude of human impact upon the reef's many species. Global warming comes on top of all the local problems that we have, which are overfishing, pollution, and coastal development. So we're juggling with a lot of problems, especially with that big one of global warming that, sadly enough, uh, the solutions are mostly global and sometimes people in the American Republic doesn't grasp and doesn't understand how to solve it. Torres believes the public needs to be educated about the current crisis, a main objective of Reef Check. Everyone has a stake in keeping the Dominican Republic's renowned beaches and reefs healthy. Conservationist fishermen and recreational divers. Reef Check's goal is to make sure they can continue to use and enjoy this spectacular scenery by making the choices that will protect these fragile coral reefs.